what I am going to do is just create a new material there. I'm just going to make this blue. Uh, I'm going to place this slightly off blue. And then I'm going to put that loop in there and apply that colour. Just so that you can see how crucial that loop is. And then I'm going to split that loop. And that gives me the ability to tuck this under and add a few tweaks of the polygons around the loop. So we've got that very nice cheek fold that we wanted. right down to the corner of the mouth which is what I wanted and it gives me the lower lip as well now in most cases there is also another crease in the corner of a mouth here so you've got the fold of the cheek which we've defined and then there is another crease in here but we'll do that one later now I'll just go back and clean up some of the mess that I made uh, it wasn't too bad around here. I've left the triangle there, which, which we'll resolve in a moment. Um, want to leave the nothing there. So I'll split through here. And I'll continue this one up here like so and that's turned that one in nicely as well so that's become not a problem for us excellent and then I'll just indent under the nasal area and then we'll crisp this up a little bit in a moment but uh, not yet I'll put another split in the mouth give us a harder edge on the lip when we need it now there is definitely an opportunity there the polygons are becoming too stretched here so we want to put another split through here but it'll get too congested up there which is a shame so we need to have a think about that one um, uh, I suppose what I can do is bring the nostrils down distribute them as we said earlier distribution is crucial bring them down a bit can come down and there's actually a lovely little triangle waiting for us there which is now a quad that will disappear because in fact we can get rid of that quicker like this to flow around here because that will give us even though we've got the edge loop at the top there the, the it would be better to have a loop underneath as well as it tucks around and goes under so we'll recut a nice loop like so and you'll see that flows into there into there and round and, and round now it doesn't go back and under and you won't get it all the way but it's given us a um, a better flow there. Um, we'll get rid of that. Again, always looking for opportunities to improve the mesh where it's become stretched or where it's, it's got itself a problem because of something else you've done always try and look for those look for grids look for shapes that you recognize in geometry you know that 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 loop there 
it's not one of the key loops that we were after but it's given us a nice flow around and it helps the, the jawline above it seeing opportunities all the time you keep popping in to deal with them okay so the mouth's going to be slightly open on this character so um, I think to do this now it's about time that I well first of all save it and then uh, turn the instance mirror off let's check the scene just going to mirror it, but I'm just going to move some of these points back so it doesn't flip across the axis. I can put them back in a moment, but um, you'll see what I mean. There you go, it's a nice clean mirror. Um, put those tightened um, folds back that I pulled apart. Okay, now it's one solid mesh again now. Um, so we'll now just do the mouth this will be the last bit on this section before we go into detail um, I'm just going to extrude back let's flatten the mouth slightly and then just go right and smooth it and then scale it up let's have a look how that looks not bad Just want to go in and smooth it a little bit more. Okay, it's going to split that one all the way around. That's good. Push that right back into the mouth now and scale it up and down. Let's smooth it out. We'll go in and uh, do, build an ins entire um, inner mouth a uh, slightly later stage. At the moment, what I'm after is just getting a defined, um, but I suppose it's a, a defined area to place some teeth that I'm going to put in, so it's a defined shape. Um, what we'll actually do is we'll colour it as well so we know that it is the inner mouth so we'll make um, make a dark red texture so we just know what we're dealing with as the inner mouth um, there's some stretch polygons in there um, and some issues that we'll have to deal with but for for this stage what it's given us is um, almost it hasn't actually given us everything we want because it's, it's made a bit of a mess in the corner down there which I will have to go in and fix um, shortly because it should turn in in fact, I'll, I'll do it now. Um, several ways to do the inner mouth, but uh, I'll get rid of the half of the mesh again. The way I generally get rid of half a mesh is several ways to do it. Is I just remove one half of it, and then just using a selection, I just open it up, um, uh, increase it, sorry, and then. Uh, it disappears um, let's turn that um, back face culling back on I think turn that off sorry um, that's 
and as you can see a little bit better there in the same way now this is the problem I was trying to describe is that because I extruded inwards um, it's left a bit of a, a mess in the corner of the mouth so a good way of doing it is just go inside and just smooth your way in so we can pull the mouth back to the shape that we want now something we'll have to do in a moment that we haven't done so far which is to match back to the center of the um, of the axes you'll see in a moment a couple more splits won't go amiss and that means we can really turn this into an inside lip by dropping that right down now this is where the teeth are going to fit we've got a nice flow round into it that can stay up there obviously you don't have to be mega accurate when you're inside the mouth um, unless you're going to really um, show it or animate it still stick by the rules so if we make a mess in there we clean it up we don't leave emgons anywhere triangles we limit poles we again not too worried about poles inside the mouth because of the nature of the fact that you're not going to see it but you wouldn't want it deforming and making a mess so we'll make sure we've got plenty of polygons in here I will be putting a tongue in here so and then where I've just done all that splitting go back to quads like so there we go very nice make sure there's a lot of thickness in the cheek wall here sometimes you get uh, carried away and you end up with um, really thin cheek walls and they don't don't always work well with animation smooth it out and get a nice inner mouth shape there and a nice curve around the outside a good polygon flow up here and again because we've colored this as we've gone along helped us keep a good example of a good grasp on sorry the um, the edge loops you can see our edge loops are still all intact all the way around the original edge loop that we did and the new blue one are all intact and the new inner mouth all in place 